Hello, welcome. We're going to be doing a reformer class this morning with a small ball. And we're going to be starting with one loose spring here. So let's come all the way down to our reformers here. And you're going to take this ball and place it in front of the shoulder rest here. So when I come to lie down, I want the ball to be a little bit lower than my shoulder blades, noticing where it is here. You want to find a place where you can release yourself over the ball and be able to curl yourself back up. My feet come onto the footbar here, either heels or arches, whatever is comfortable for you. We're going to target our core to start here. So hands back behind the head. Again, just making sure that ball feels like it's in the correct location. Let's release ourselves over the ball just for a moment here. Open up the chest. Maybe we let those elbows fall out to the side. Head is heavy in those hands. We exhale to curl ourselves back up. Feet are about hip distance apart on that foot bar. We start to push the carriage out. And as we press out, we're releasing our head back, opening through the rib cage. And then we exhale, curl as we come back in. Releasing back, we arch over. And then exhale, ribs are gliding as we come back in. Inhale, release up and over. Exhale, ribs gliding, head heavy in those hands. Inhale, release and open. Exhale, pull those abdominals to curl up a few more here. Inhale, release it back. Exhale, scooping those abdominals back in. Inhale, release it back. Exhale, head heavy in those hands. A few more here, warming up those abdominals. We exhale to curl, ribs are gliding down, eyes to thighs. Inhale, release and open. Exhale, scooping as we curl back up. Let's do a few more here. Inhale, release it back. Exhale, scooping as we come back in. Inhale, we release it back. Head stays heavy. Exhale, ribs gliding, eyes to thighs. Let's do last two. Inhale, we open. Exhale, we come back in. Final one. Inhale, we open. Exhale, bending the knees, scooping those abs right back in. We're going to take our left leg up to tabletop here. So just this left leg. You're going to press yourself back and open, arching over the ball. As we come back in, you're going to twist. Exhale towards that bend knee. Release back center and open. Exhale, scooping and twist. Inhale, open center. Exhale, twisting at that rib cage. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist at those ribs. Three more here. Inhale, open. Exhale, we twist in the opposite rib to opposite hip. Exhale, rotate at that rib cage. Final one here. Head is heavy. We exhale, twist it in, hold it here. That leg comes down, center it back out. Right leg comes up. Press back, we arch over. Exhale, ribs gliding as we come back in. Inhale, release over. Exhale, ribs are gliding as we come back in. Good. I just realized that I'm not twisting, so we are rotating towards this knee. And then inhale, center out. Good. Exhale, we twist. Inhale, we center, rotating at this rib cage here. And we center. Exhale, twisting at those ribs, feeling that upper rib cage here. Good, three more, twisting at those ribs. Inhale, center, open. Exhale, twist, trying to stay centered on that ball, even though we're rotating. Final one like this, twisting it in. Both legs go down, hands will come by your side here. We're not gonna arch, we're just gonna lift the arms as we press back. And then exhale, lower the arms as we come back in. Inhale, lift up and press. Exhale, lower the arms as we come back in. Inhale, lift and press. Exhale, we take it back in. Inhale, lift and press. Exhale, right back in. One more here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, final one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, everything back down, staying in for a moment. You're just going to roll up for a second to take the ball out. 
placing the ball onto the floor here. We're gonna lie ourselves down. I'm just gonna lift my head rest up for myself today. And then place your feet right onto the foot bar. Heels are on here. Heels are about hip distance apart. And it's gonna be a very, very light spring. So just be mindful. We're slow and controlled, pushing the carriage back. And then using those low abdominals, pull those abs in to pull the carriage in. Pressing back through those heels, scooping those abs, pull the abdominals to pull back in. Slow and controlled, we press back. Low abs are pulling as you come back in. Good, slow, control, we press. Scoop those low abdominals back in. Good, slow and control, we press. Exhale, pull the abdominals to come back in a few more here. Just being mindful that it is very light here. We're scooping those knees. We press back and control. Exhale, pull those knees back in. Two more here, we press back. Exhale, scooping as we come back in. Two more here. Exhale, pull those low abdominals. Final one here. We're engaging as if the core wasn't pulling in, we wouldn't be able to park the carriage. Heels together, toes apart, that Pilates knee, leaving heels on the foot bar. Again, we're going to press ourselves back using those low abs to pull as we come back in. Good, thinking low abdominals here. Pulling those abdominals as we come back in. Good. We press that carriage out. Scooping and pull. Final three here. Again, imagining if we're not pulling that belly button in, the carriage would not be able to come back in. We press back. Pull those low abdominals back in. Final two. Final one here. Exhale. We pull ourselves all the way in. And then final foot position, we take it to a wide second. Heels are towards the outer edges, toes a little bit turned out. Slow and controlled, we press it back. Low abs are pulling you right back in. Good, slow and controlled, we press back. Scoop those abdominals, pull yourself back in. We have three. Exhale, pull that belly button in. Final two here. Exhale, pull those abs back in. Final one like this. Exhale, pull all the way back in. Good, staying just like that. We're gonna roll ourselves up to seated just for a moment. You're gonna grab the ball. I guess I didn't need to roll up here. You're gonna grab the ball. And then we're gonna make sure headrest is lower down here. Resting it all the way back down. We're gonna take this ball, really light spring, so just be mindful. We're gonna lift our hips up and then place that ball right behind the low back or the low back or the butt meet, right about where that leg seam is in your pants here. So seeing where the ball is here. And then you just wanna make sure that you feel centered, it feels controlled. We're gonna lift our legs right up to tabletop here. Palms are facing down just to help support a little bit. We're gonna take a single leg stretch. One leg reaches out. Pull it in, other side, reach it out, and pull right back in. We reach and pull, reach and pull. The low back is staying connected to the ball here, making sure we're not wiggling off, we're nice and controlled, going slow with this movement. Reach and pull, reach and pull. The low back is connected to that ball here, Stay equally weighted through those hips, through those palms. One more for each side. And then from here, we take both legs. Both legs reach out. Exhale, both knees back in. Both legs reach. Both knees pull back in. Good. We reach and we pull. We reach. Exhale, pull right back in. Final three. Reach it out and pull. Reach and pull final one here. Reach it out. Leg straight to the sky. One leg goes down and then the other. Good. That single leg stretch here. One leg goes down and then the other. Good. Try not to rest that leg down onto the foot bar. Nice and equal through those hips. One leg lowers and then the other. Good. A few more just like this. Good. And if we need to, you can always keep a gentle bend in that knee here. Good. Equally weighted through those hips. One more for each. 
And then both legs straight to the sky. We're gonna do a little slide open to the side. Zip the inner thighs back in, little slide out. And we sit, good, sliding, exhale, pull those inner thighs, slide it out. Zip those inner thighs back in, we have three. Exhale, pull for two. Exhale, pull. Final one here, legs back together. Double leg, both legs go down. Exhale, them back up, thinking those low abdominals here are what's scooping those knees. We lower down. Exhale, we scoop here. Scooping those knees back up, feeling those abdominals. We have four. Exhale, up, almost done here. Last three, scooping those knees here. Final two. Last one here, and then our final move here. Heels together, toes apart, we have a frog. We're gonna reach the legs out. Exhale, pull the knees back. Reach it out. Exhale, knees back in. Good, trying to make sure knees only come over the hips here. So we keep that control range of motion, really working that low core, those low abdominals. Reach and pull them. You can always reach a little bit lower if that feels okay for the spine here. Reaching and pulling, whatever feels okay for your joints, for your body. We have four, and exhale. For three, pull the knees in, keep those heels squeezing together. Final one here, we take it in, we lower the feet all the way down, lift the hips up, taking that ball out, and again, let's just drop the ball to the side, and then rock those knees for a moment from side to side. Just let those knees sway from one side to the other here. Good. And then we take it back through center and we're gonna come all the way up through seated here and we're gonna come for a version of our kneeling abs. If hands on the runners feels fine for you, keep hands on the runners because I have purple tunnel, I'm going to grab onto my box here and I'm gonna be putting my box over the runners. Good, I'm just taking it back so it goes over those runners here. You'll find out once you get on if it feels like it's in that right location or not. Either way, either box or hands onto the runners, whatever feels best for your wrist, for your body. And we still have that one blue spring on. I'm gonna come out, either hands on the runners or forearms onto the box here, knees up against those shoulder rests. And I'm gonna start with some cat calves, so rounding spine, spine, eyes to thighs, and then release. Exhale, lifting that spine up to the sky. And then releasing two more here. Exhale, rounding and lift. Final time here. Exhale, rounding and lift. And then releasing, finding that nice strong position with the upper body, reaching through crown of the head. Nose is looking down on the floor. It finds a spot and it stays in that location. We start to pull the knees in and controlling back strong through the upper body, strong through the shoulders. We're scooping those knees in and controlling back, feeling those low abdominals here, lower core. Good. Low core is what's scooping those knees in and controlling back out. Exhale, we pull those knees in. Using those low abdominals, we have four more here. Exhale. Last three. Exhale those knees for two. Final one, hold it in, little pulses in. And in the little pulse here, using those low abdominals, exhale, scooping, we have three, two, and one, release it all the way back here for a moment. If we're using the box, you're just gonna tilt your feet over to one side here, keeping knees exactly in front of the shoulder rest. We've just twisted our feet. If hands are on runners, you can always take hands to one runner or just continue to do what we're doing here. Strong through the upper body, we start to pull those knees back in. And now we're feeling those obliques here. So my feet are twisted off to the right side. I'm feeling those right obliques. Strong through the upper body, shoulders are over hands or over elbows, depending on our position. We're scooping these knees in. Exhale to pull those knees. We have four more here, feeling those low abdominals. Exhale in. Last two. Final one here, releasing the carriage back. We twist our feet to the other side. We're just letting those feet drop to the other side or whatever we did with the arms. Again, we pull those knees in. Exhale, scoop those knees in 
and controlling that carriage back out. Now I'm feeling those left obliques because my feet are twisted to the left side here. Let's go for four more here. Exhale, scooping those knees. Last two. Final one here, release it back, feet through center, take a child's pose, reach the arms, reach the glutes. So just reaching here in opposition quickly, getting that nice stretch in. And then coming back up, if you have not grabbed your box, now you will definitely grab your box regardless, and you're going to put the box over the runners. We're going to switch to one yellow spring here. I know it seems light, but I promise once we get into it, the yellow is going to be plenty. So box goes over the runners no matter what here. We're going to be using the box over the runners, and we have one yellow spring here. You're going to be shifting your knees back. So my knees now are in between the shoulder rests, right where the headrest is, and my back calves are hugging up against that shoulder rest here. I'm going to take my form out onto that box here. Right hand or top hand is just going to rest right on top, and I'm going to think of lifting the top hip up as I pull the carriage in and controlling back out, feeling those abdominals, feeling those obliques, strong through the upper body, through the forearm and shoulder. Good, we're feeling those low abdominals, those obliques here. Good, so I'm facing you. My left side is that working side right now. Doesn't matter which side you picked, we're gonna go through both. We scoop those knees in. Good, feeling those left obliques here. Pulling those knees, let's take it for four. Good, last three, scoop those knees. We have final two. One more here, and then release it all the way out. We're gonna take our top arm up to the sky, and this time we're gonna thread a needle. You're gonna pull it in and thread, and then we open back out. Exhale, thread that needle, and we open. Exhale, good, feeling those obliques, scooping, and open, good, lifting that hip up to the sky, crunching those bottom obliques. We have four more here, scooping. Good, last three. Good, nice and strong through the upper body. Final one here. And then release the carriage all the way back. We're gonna come just to sit on our heels for a moment here, and you're gonna take a little stretch up and over to the other side. Stretching out those obliques, Give them a quick little break here. And then we're gonna take it right into the other side here. So we just fully twist ourselves around. Again, my knees are in between the shoulder rests here, right next to the headrest. Back calves are hooked up against that shoulder rest behind me. Left hand or my top arm is just gonna rest on top of the bottom arm. I start to pull that carriage in, feeling those obliques here. Good, and those are my right obliques now that I'm working. We're crunching through this side. Scooping that carriage in, controlling that carriage back out. Scooping this carriage and feel those obliques. We have five more here. Then warming up this side, last three. Strong through the upper body, strong through the arm. Final one here, letting the carriage close. Top arm up to the sky, we thread the needle under and we open. Good, we thread under. And we open, crunching those bottom obliques here, thread it under and open. Let's take for four more here to finish this series. Last three, threading that needle, we have two. Final rep here, open it right back up, closing the carriage, we take that seat and we take that stretch up and over to the other side. And just letting it stretch, let it feel good here through the rib, through the hip. And then we come right back up here. And I'm gonna take this box and put the box away here. We're gonna do a little bit more release. It's gonna just be a short class today. And then we'll place that box right back where it came from. Good. And we're gonna put our blue spring back on. So blue spring is gonna come right back on. And we're gonna take that yellow spring off here. And you're gonna come into a mermaid position here. So my left leg is all the way up against the shoulder rest. Right leg comes out in front. And I'm gonna take this short loop, clasping my hands together, shoulders away from the ears here. We're just gonna take a rotation. We're twisting at the ribs towards the foot bar. And then we're coming right back through center. Twisting at the ribs. And then right back through center here. Good, we're rotating towards this right side controlling back to center, twisting at that rib cage here. Good, a few here. 
exhale, twisting at those ribs. Good, let's take three more here, we're twisting. Good. Last two. Final one here, rotating at those ribs. We take it back through center. And you're gonna take this short loop. We're gonna feed our arm all the way through. So short loop comes over the elbow, over the forearm. Hands will come back behind the head. We're gonna take a little crunch here, crunching rib to hip, nice and tall, right back up. Crunching rib to hip, and then right back up here. Good, crunching rib to hip. Nice and tall as we come back up. Let's take four more here, that crunch. Good, rib to hip, elbow towards that carriage. We have two more here. Exhale, crunch. Final one like this. Nice and tall through that spine to take it all the way back up. Again, we take that strap up. We hang the strap up. One more stretch here, up and over through that side. And then we're gonna do that same series now facing the other way. I like to just lift my knees up to face back and then drop the knees to the other side. We're gonna grab that loop closest this way now. You're gonna grab that short loop into your hand closest to the shoulder rest. We take that rotation, shoulders away from ears. We start to twist at the ribs and then coming back through center, keeping that right side or whatever side it is that's closest to the shoulder rest, trying to keep it heavy as we rotate into this left side, twisting into that rib cage, and then back through center here, keeping shoulders away from the ears, heavy through those hips, heavy through those glutes. We're twisting to the left, and then controlling back through center, twisting at that rib cage here. Let's take three more here, that rotation of the ribs, final two, Final one here, twisting. And then we come back through center. You're gonna take that short loop, feed it right over onto the elbow. We take that crunch, crunching to the side. Nice and tall, we come back up. Rib to hip, we crunch. Nice and tall as we come back up. Rib to hip, elbow towards the springs, keeping that hip, keeping that leg heavy as we take that crunch. We have three more here. Exhale, crunch, nice and tall, right back up. Final two, rib to hip. Final one here. Come back through center, nice and carefully. We take this loop, we hang that loop right back up and we take that counter stretch here, reaching it up and over. And then carefully coming back. So we currently have one blue on. Now we're gonna switch it to a red and a yellow to finish box today. Red and yellow comes on and you're gonna grab that ball. This ball part is optional. So if it feels okay for you, awesome. If you have a cushion instead, you can always use one of those cushions. We're gonna lie ourselves down, keep the ball just on your stomach for a moment. You're gonna grab those straps back behind you. And we're gonna put our feet right into those long loops here. So coming right into some feet and straps. Feet go into those long loops. You're gonna reach your legs and we're just gonna to start to lift and lower those legs here, up and down, reaching as we lower, hinging as we lift, keeping this ball here. Good, lifting and lowering, reaching through those straps here. Good, hopefully you cannot hear the squeaking that I hear from my reformer right now. I just need to loosen up that little strap in the back. Oops, and I dropped my ball. You're gonna continue lifting and lowering your legs here while I go grab that ball. Good. And what I mean by cushion is if you have this instead of your ball, more than welcome to use that instead here. Continue with this lift and lower. We're almost done with this move and we're gonna add the prop here. It's always so humbling when you get to take your own class and you're like, oh yeah, it is really hard to keep that ball in my stomach. And then from here, we're gonna lift ourselves up a little bit, kind of like you're coming for short spine and you're gonna place the ball just like we did with the abdominals before, right under where the low back or the butt meet. And we're gonna come back to that lift and lower. We're just adding some more core work to the speed and strap series here. Hinging to lift and then reaching through these straps. Good. This is our last bit of class today, reaching long and hinging to lift. Nice and long. 
right back up. Let's take it halfway down here. Start to bend the knees in and then stretch it right back out. We can always separate those feet here for more of a challenge. Just making sure that we're moving equally. Both legs are bending together and they're extending together. And just by being on this ball here, we already have to work a little bit harder for that core to stabilize. Otherwise, you might feel like you're just going to roll off to one side here. We're bending and we're pressing through those straps. We have four. Last three here. Good. Bending just these over hips and then right back up. One more here. Reach it all the way up nice and long. Either heels together, toes apart, or feet is parallel. Whatever feels best for you. We're going to slide the legs open just carriage width. Zip them right back in. Little slide out and zip them. I like my toes turned out. It helps me to engage inner thighs and it helps me to engage the low abdominals. Whatever way for your toes, straight up to the side or out to the side, helps to feel inner thighs and abdominals. We have three more here, sliding in and out. Last two. Final one here, heels together, toes apart. We bend the knees in and we send it right back out. We're almost done here. Bending, squeeze and stretch. The just a quick power core class today. Squeezing through those heels, pushing through those straps. We have four more here, squeezing those heels. Good. Almost done, nice and steady on the ball here. Final one here. We reach the legs out, they come back to parallel, start to lift them up. We're gonna lift it up, place the ball onto the floor, and we're gonna take our leg circles and just letting it flow here, whatever size feels best. Circling those legs. The headrest can come up or down, whatever feels good here. And we're just circling through these legs. Good, let it feel nice here. And then we switch directions, opposite way again, just letting it flow, letting it feel nice, steady through the hips, through the low back. Good, and just enjoying this movement, whatever size, big or small, feels best for your body, for your joints today. Let's take one more here. Legs back together, good. Let's take a quick stretch, pulling on these straps here, feeling the back of those legs, and just enjoying that stretch here. And then we'll bend those knees, we'll take our feet out. We will hang these straps right back up where they came from. Come all the way up to seated. We're just gonna do a little stretch here to finish. I want to stay seated here. You're going to take an inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, dive it over towards those toes, letting those hands hang down. And then you're going to stack the spine, slow and controlled, stacking that spine all the way back up. And let's do two more here. Arms go up, diving ourselves down, abs away from those thighs, slowly stacking the spine, keeping those arms heavy. And then final one here, arms go up and over. Exhale, diving down, stacking that spine nice and slowly, releasing those shoulders away. And then we just put on whatever strings we like to keep our carriage on, whatever feels secure to us. Thank you so much for joining this quick ab class today. I hope you enjoyed it. Always feel free to send in some requests. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye.